All right, so for this very special episode, I'm going to be going over this incredible podcast beef, this podcast war that went on between Back on Fig and No Jumper that occurred last Friday, a couple days ago, uh, where the 16 and T-Rail both scheduled their shows at the same time. And they did this to see who would have the more successful show. And it was this big competition. And so the 16 of Nashua recruited Lush One, Comparator, uh, and some idiot named Bees, I guess his name is, uh, for the No Jumper show to compete with T-Rel and back on Fig. And so T-Rel uh, recruited a bunch of ex-No Jumper employees that Adam has done wrong to over the years, causing them to leave No Jumper and do their own thing. So it was like a No Jumper reunion podcast on Back on Fig. It was really cool, actually. And so Adam, 16 said earlier this week that No Jumper is back and on top and that T-Rail could basically never fuck with him and that No Jumper's numbers are going crazy through the roof and that it's he's just so successful. Guys, every Tuesday, regular shit, we had 9,000 live viewers. Z-Rail on back on Facebook, he had 2,000 live viewers. And so uh, the date was set for Friday uh, afternoon. They would have the Battle of the Pods uh, to see who would be victorious in the numbers game. And so this is uh, what happened. I'm not going to lie. It was a banger of a situation. I want to sort of cover the best parts. And I'd love to take a look at our first clip. And the first clip is going to be Adam's podcast because he fucking lost like a bitch. And I can't remember the last time I saw someone fail so ridiculously and shittily. And it was some of the shittiest, uh, most worst podcasting I've ever experienced. And so I'd like to start here to get this shit out of the way. So this will be the first clip. This is going to be Adam 16 and his cast of fucking all stars. Okay, we got Comparator. We got Lush One, the cocaine bot, of course. And we have this guy Bees, who is a local idiot. And he's from the Figmunity world. And the only reason he's on this show is because Adam thought that it would do numbers to have one of T-Rel's ex- affiliates come on to the show and it didn't do well at all. Adam is very stupid. He's not a genius. This was like the dumbest cast I've ever seen. And basically from what I could tell, this whole podcast was just four guys sitting around drinking, talking about hair transplants and sucking dick. And remember the 16 is guiding this whole podcast. These are his topics. This is what he thinks is interesting to the viewers. This is Adam's podcast. Okay. So Adam isn't good actually. Adam's only good when big stars used to come on his show and he used to get big interviews and do big numbers, but now he interviews fucking idiots and nobodies just to compete with people with like 100,000 subs. And so Adam is desperately uh, stupid and he's a cuck. And I'd like to start here with our first clip. This is going to be, I don't even know what to call this. Check this out. Pandemic. Everything shut down, pandemic. Let's go back like Hotel Beast. Uh Pandemic. Everything shut down. Industry, Hollywood, everybody's trying to figure it out. I did. All right, so this guy Bees literally showed up with a fucking tall can of Modelo in Amiri jeans that don't fit. He has a safety pin cinching the waist of these pants so that they'll fit. He looks like a homeless person, to be honest with you. And uh, this is just not working. And Adam, all Adam wants to talk about is his hair because he's self-conscious because he's got a bunch of like uh, scabbing and pustules forming on the top of his scalp, secondary to his Turkish hair surgery. And so Adam is so insecure about this. He's got all these fucking disgusting scabs all over his fucking head. So he wore this hat thinking that he would conceal the ugliness. And so he just comes out and starts just firing off like, hey, uh, yo, I, I got this hat on, not because of any reason other than... Uh, and watch this. It's not that I like I'm trying to wear a hat to like hair transplant from the world. It's more just the fact that I, I, one. I was out in the sun at the playground earlier and I uh, did not want to like have sun damage done to my head. Are we, yeah, because we, can we get the monitor ready to go? Does that hurt? Wow, so he's he's telling an outright lie to you guys. He's lying to his own audience. He just said that he's got the hat on to protect his scalp from sun damage, knowing that he is inside of doors. So he is truly pathetic. And he knew that he didn't, that didn't make sense. So he's like, oh shit, I got to change the subject. Uh, Can we get the monitors uh, facing toward me, please? So he knew that that was like undeniably stupid. And let me say this, if this was a pre-recorded podcast, he would have edited that out. But because this was a live podcast, he was unable to do so. And how embarrassing. So Adam is so deeply insecure that he's saying things that don't make sense. He's like dodging shit now. He's like Flacco. This is like Flacco style. And so again, this entire podcast was basically Adam talking about his hair. 
So let's hear a little bit more. This is going to be a clip of Adam talking about how he wants to grow his hair out to his shoulders and do like a man bun thing. And he thinks he's qualified to do this. He thinks his hair is going to grow out that long. He thinks he's got a full head of hair. It's really remarkable, the delusion. Look at this. That's what I got. I got 4,000, I think. Get it from your pubes, fool. Shit, just, just you know, like... You can. You could get it from your pubes. You can, I saw Arab dudes out there getting it from their beard right here and from their chest. Thought about going Jesus mode. Oh. Mm. Which I do think could be problematic because I feel like it might take me like three years to grow my hair down to like my shoulders. You kind of will look like him. Or maybe longer. Jesus Christ. So as you can see, Adam's here. 16 is deeply insecure about his hair. It's all he can talk about. It's all he thinks about. He fantasizes about having long, luscious locks of hair like Fabio. It's never going to happen. It's just never, ever going to happen. And so he is very disturbed. And uh, a lot of people have been uh, saying that Point and Shoot is responsible for him getting his new hair transplant. He's going to say in this next clip why he went to Turkey. And it was because of a uh, screenshot that I am responsible for. So in a way, I forced Adam's hand to get his hair fixed. Look at this. I saw a photo of me where my hair was like kind of pushed to the side. But due to the light and the, I don't know how the hair was sitting or whatever, I felt like I could see like a straight gap like like a, just a chunk out of it where it just didn't really look right and then all right so that was uh that screenshot was used in a couple of videos of mine and they were posted in the reddit all over the place and adam was getting heavily roasted and so this is the reason why he went to turkey okay so i don't know what to tell you i think that was all me and so for this next little piece, this is, again, this is the, the the podcast that was supposed to go up against T-Rell and back on FIG and everyone, okay? This is supposed to be a championship podcast, and this is what we're getting. It's truly uh, eye-opening uh, what No Jumper has become. So for this next clip, we're going to look at, uh, it's going to be Lush won the cocaine bot. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm thinking someone slipped him something or he took a perk or something, but he's fucked up. And what's going to happen is Lush is going to get all fuckered up and then he's going to stand up and, and walk away and go puke. Okay, so he, he had to get up and go puke. This is pretty funny. Lush is sitting there like fucking trying to hold himself together. He's got the mouth sweats, okay? He's about to throw up all over the place. He walks off uh, to go puke, and this was the best part of the show. Country? Literally. No, this is Turkey. I We're not talking about Turkey. Oh, okay. We're talking about where the... Do you remember, do, have you heard this story? No. It's a story of some ne cheapest booty inductions, the BBL. What are you going for? And they went he's to He's going to the bathroom. Watch him. Watch him. Wait, you think he's going to throw might, up? No, he might, yeah. He's yeah. walking no, kind of no, slow. Because he's drunk. He's not. So I want you guys to pay attention to this. So this, is, this is kind of a mystery to me. So Comparator says, yeah, fool, he might throw up. And I'm thinking, like, what do you mean, fool? Like, why would you, how do you know? Okay, did you give him a perky? Did you slide him one of those Tijuana blues? Hmm? I think it's a strong possibility, and it's a very glaring situation I want everyone to uh, be aware of. And so let's take a look at uh, what Lush had to say when he came back from throwing up. It's a lot. Of control? Well, it's a lot to even, like, try to assume that type of responsibility. Did you just puke? I did. <laughs> <laughs> How Come much on. did you drink to get yourself to puke? <laughs> Come on. Uh, no. like, what's, what's going on in your body right now? I hadn't really drank too be, much before. Be, I right, if this is just from drinking, like if Lush had just a couple of too many shots of Hennessy and he's acting like this, I've got a huge problem with that. These guys that can't hold, they can't hold their liquor. Look at this fucking guy. I can't even drink the water right now. I'm trying no, to hold no, it down. No, 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 no. It's clear, clear as glacier. <sighs> It's a clear glacier for crystal geyser. geyser. Yeah. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> and so there really isn't too much more to go over. This podcast sucked. Uh, it was all about hair transplants and sucking dick. Look at this. This is going to get me on a watch list. I just searched up countries where it's normal to make men suck your dick. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Copa. What's it's going to be, it's going to be <laughs> this went, a cultural this history of men sucking their own dicks. <laughs> Merlin Matthews. Merlin Matthews. 66 Goals? countries where I'm going to get some gold. Let's just trade it as Modelo hey, for Red Bull. I came in as my hey, hey, both. Hey, Copa, call Job. Let's get some coke here. Yo, I came. Understand yeah, that I've done. Right, right now. Understand I've done many, many what? dozens of podcasts Copa, with Lush. Call and I'm, Job right now. Yo, shut up. I'm talking. <laughs> I've done many One dozens mic. of podcasts with Lush and I've never. Right, so this may have been the worst podcast in the history of time. I've never seen anything this shitty, and this was supposed to be, remember, Adam uh, put this all together to go up against back on FIG. He wanted all the views. He thought he was going to get all the views. He thought there was going to be like 15,000 people watching him do this. 
there was only about uh, 2,000 people max probably in that fucking uh, live chat. It was a terrible show and I fucking hated it and so did everyone else. And now everyone's pointing and laughing at the 16 for having uh, failed so miserably because remember Adam was popping it like he was going to have all the views. He was going to bury T. Rellin back on fig. He was going to have all the success, all the hair. And now look at him. He looks like a, he looks so ridiculous with his hair. He looks like, you know, his scalp looks like he'll have eyes. It's really disgusting. So with that being said, I'm so appreciative of you guys for supporting the channel, hitting like, commenting, subscribing. And I hope you guys are subscribed because I'm dropping the back on fig coverage tomorrow. And that's going to be a fucking banger. I'm going to fucking torch Flacco. Flacco's uh, going to go down tomorrow. So please tune in for that. Set notifications. Do what you got to do because this next video is going to be a banger. Okay, I promise. So with that being said, thanks for supporting and I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, and uh, Patreon, guys. Patreon, there's a nine piece up now. Nine videos. Over like seven hours probably of content up there. So go ahead and uh, check that out. It's three bucks and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.